live on Facebook now. So I'm going to try to load YouTube first so I can see comments. I am technically live in two places. We'll see how this goes. I'll start. The iPad seems good for um, battery right now, so that's good news. Got my bucket of dips for tonight. I'm going to plug in my phone for now. Minimize that. Get over to Facebook so I can get to the other comments. I should be able to go back and forth. <laughs> Might be more delayed for my comments just because of the multiple systems, but we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be fine. Could be fine. So the trick is going to be being on camera for YouTube without getting in Facebook's way. <laughs> so that's going to be our trick. Usually I'm able to be visible and live <laughs> and watching YouTube while I'm doing something else, which is kind of what I was hoping would happen, but maybe not. So I may have to pop in and out for comments. So if any of my responses are delayed on YouTube, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, we will see what we can do. <laughs> All right, so let me get myself introduced. I'm Bedazzled Nails, AKA Brandis. I am a home DIY nail enthusiast. I mostly concentrate on dip nails, but I will do um, gel on the occasion. I have a HEMA allergy and a possible um, additional acrylate allergy. So just generally careful about what I use. Dip is the gentlest for me, but I still like a good gel top coat because I like how juicy they look over glitters. So usually I will still pull those out. I will be doing a dip manicure with Lift Your Spirit Dips, various liquids, and then a Hema Free gel top coat. I think I'm going to be doing a blue manicure with a solid and a glitter and maybe some 3D charms. So 
If you like nails and you're here to have a good time, hang out and chat, you are absolutely welcome and we would love to have you. So like, comment, subscribe. If you have any friends who like to do nails, feel free to share this with them too. Otherwise, happy Friday. With these I'm setting myself up. I've got my liquids from Liquid Layers. I've got my brush holder. I've got my hand rest. I've got my containers for my dip. These are called Dip Flexi Boats or Flexi Dip Boats. I always swap them back and forth. They're fabulous. They're 3D printed by a small business. The owner's name is Bonnie. She's amazing. She may pop in and out of my live, depending if she has time. And you can use my code BEDAZZLED15 to save at the website. There will be a sale soon though. So if you want to hang on and save 25% May 3rd, that's when the sale will start. I've got stickers, I've got charms. Let me pull out my swatches for the colors that I was looking at using tonight, so you guys can see. I pulled these three colors. We have Pin Up Diva, which is a nice smaller glitter. We have Tommy, which is a chromable blue. And I have Serenity, which is more of a like teal blue, potentially also chromable. So those are the colors I'm looking at using. dips that I need. I've got Tommy. I've got spring forth. Hushed waters. Um, <laughs> where, where did they go? I've got my nudes and my pinks. There's Pin Up Diva, which is our glitter. My iPad just went dark. Why did it do that? Serenity is our blue, our other blue. Okay. Otherwise, I've got some stickers and I've got some 3D charms that I was going to see if we could work into the manicure tonight. And then I just need to find my other tip. I had sized out my tips already to use for tonight, but they went MIA. Currently, I don't see anybody chatting on YouTube, so I'm going to swap over to Facebook for a minute. Though on my phone, I can have both going, so I'm not sure why the iPad's not supporting that. So I was hoping to be able to watch both chats. So, oops. <laughs> oh well, we're here. Yay! I'm so glad, Michelle. <laughs> Hopefully you can get in and snag your order before the frenzy begins. I'll pop in my ahangas, my earbuds. I'll pardon the sound if you guys get a little bit of bumpies, but using the microphone on one of my devices and my earbuds on the other device. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes going to be a bit of a hot mess probably for the first one, but I think my angle's okay. It looks like I have not managed to disconnect myself yet. <laughs> so. Now I just got to figure out, I had all my tips picked out, so I don't know which one went missing. <laughs> so I can visually see I've got my thumbnail, I've got my thumb, I've got my index. My ring finger, my middle finger, so maybe it was my, it looks to be my pinky that went MIA. So that's easy peasy. Not the smallest, but the next one back. These are the Opre Gelex Natural Stiletto Shorts. Ooh. 
<laughs> increase to your purchase price. So it helps, but at no expense to you, which is what I would prefer. If it did anything extra for you guys, I just wouldn't even tell you about it because I don't like my my followers and my community to be penalized for trying to support me. So even some of the companies that I work with, I might get higher commission on their website, but that does mean that their prices are higher, so I don't link them. I generally will only link their Amazon. So it's the better price for you guys. And when we are all trying to save money, it's one of the reasons I got into this hobby I would much rather save you guys money than make a few extra cents. Hi, Cassandra, how are you? We are doing a blue manicure today. I was feeling the brights, so I picked out Pinup Diva, Tommy, and Serenity. So we're either doing those two, these two, or these three. That I haven't decided yet. So. <laughs> Those are the colors we're using. Do you have any release this weekend or anything that you want to talk up, Cass? Or that I need more details on. Yeah, I was trying vertical. Oh, it doesn't look like it's connecting. That's not good. Michelle said it looked like it was okay. Uh oh. No, I was definitely not seeing comments when I was over there. Let's see. Oh, move the whole live. I'm trying to swipe and it's like, no. Why would you be able to swipe though? Like that seems like a silly thing. I'm like, but I can swipe on my phone. Like shouldn't everything work the same? I never, I never understand Apple devices and why they're like, oh, but it's slightly different. So we're gonna make it work slightly different. And the support's going to be slightly different. <laughs> Ooh, we got the beach and maybe the April dollop. I definitely want the April dollop. I am on that for sure. Got to. April babies. April babies unite. And I think I wanted to grab one of the nudes from the beach collection. So I got to keep my eye open. So you don't be selling out while I'm looking the other way or sleeping in because I'm on, the, I'm on the West Coast. That's why I usually miss sales because I'm sleeping. I'm on the West Coast. The time is different. All you Central American and Midwest and Midwesterns and East Coast people, y'all get the jump on sales and everything. There's Kieran. Mr. K-Pop is having fun today with his nurse. We had therapy today, which we don't normally, but I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I, I felt that. Oi. Okay, let's see if I can fix this. <laughs> uh, worried about that. I have another holder coming, so hopefully this will not be an issue. Apologies for the dizzies. device tried to kill me. All you can see is my three swatches. Okay, let me zoom out. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> you try not to drop anything else on myself. All right. <laughs> Hi, Gail. Happy to see you. Hey, Britt. Hey, Leah. All right. So I do have people over here on, on the YouTube. So please yell at me if anything's crazy. I'm trying my best to line up with all of the cameras. 
I'm hoping I'm using kind of this spot as my happy spot. So, <laughs> like they do in the movies, I just need to get some like electrical tape and like tape off my, my little square. You may see that one day. <laughs> But I do have a tablet holder coming, so I should be able to use the tablet holder and have maybe even an over-the-shoulder view. Hey, Sarah! Which I thought might be kind of cool for YouTube. Then you can kind of see my hands the way I'm doing it without seeing my messy desk, hopefully. <laughs> I'll be playing around with that. But I was trying to zoom on the iPad, on the face, on Facebook, and it was giving me weird, weird visuals. So there we are. These are the natural opre stiletto shorts on my teeny tiny hands. These are the colors we're looking at again. So this is Pinup Diva, which is the glitter. Then we have Serenity, which is kind of the more teal blue. And then we have Tommy, which is the more blue. It's sort of a cerulean almost, very a much brighter blue with a little bit of like gold shimmer to that when you chrome it. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall on me again <laughs> for anyone who missed that. We'll be using my dip cups because I love them. These are the Flexi Dip Boats by Liquid Layers and they are amazing. Cleaning out. I had some clear acrylic so you just to clean them out you just use a little brush. Give it a little bit of a scrub. And it works perfectly clean, nothing left over. Won't be contaminating anything. I was hoping my other shipment of my other sizes would come in, but alas, I'm not getting them till Monday. So we will be doing these two. I'm going to pour out our glitter as I will be flat laying for this. beautiful beautiful glitters the color is called pinup diva okay. so that's what you see in the flexi boat and here is the swatch okay. and then mm -hmm. what do you guys think serenity or Tommy or both? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Britt. <laughs> I'm eventually going to have to figure out how to have mods too. So you can maybe help me with that. Show me what to do. <laughs> Got to keep it safe up in here. So what are you guys thinking? Serenity or Tommy or both? I'm excited. After my little glitter tutorial that I posted on my YouTube channel yesterday, I got four new subscribers. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I am just checking my cuticles, making sure that I like sort of how the tips are fitting. I'm gonna go in a little bit here and just kind of take some off the side. <laughs> so Tom is my husband, yes. Yeah, I definitely, I, it's so pretty. And it might be fun to chrome it. Do a chrome on the pinky or something. All right. Cause then I was looking at these as the charms maybe to do over over it if that's not too much I don't know so 
That's kind of what we're looking at. I got the charms on Timu. Save that. Okay, so I'll put Serenity in the bin for another manicure. We will pour out some of Tommy. Got Tommy here. Put that into your cup. So this will hold a port a point two five dip, and the half ounce size will hold a half ounce size of dip. So this is good for your samples and your 0.25s. Alright, out my base. What have I got? So the base I'm using tonight is one that I got off of Amazon. I'm out of my Lift Your Spirits base. Alright, so I'm going to do. Okay, I think what I'm picturing is Tommy Chrome, Pinup Diva all by itself, Tommy, Tommy, Ombre of Pinup Diva at the cuticle, and then either all Pinup Diva or Tommy with um, Pinup Diva as like a little X or design or shape in the center or something. Kind of what I'm thinking. Or if I do all Pinup Diva, I will add a charm there, I think. So that's the manicure plan. Got attacked by stuff when my phone fell over. <laughs> like, where am I even going? All right. So I have the dips with their names right here. So you can see if anybody comes in, the names are with their respective flexi dip boat. My iPad keeps trying to go down. It's interesting. All right. Looks like you guys can't see. So let's try that over here. Or I got disconnected. Oh, did I get it? No? Not disconnected. Weird. Okay. Here we go. You guys just couldn't see what I was showing. All right. We're good on this. We'll get it. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Oi. All right. Oh. The video paused. That's what happened. Weird. Okay. <laughs> the video paused. That's why you guys couldn't see anything. Because you were seeing stuff. I wasn't seeing stuff. Ha ha. Okay. First watch is out of the way. So, hopefully, you guys saw the Manny plan. Going to start with our glitter here. This is going to be Pinup Diva. I may need to bring my other chair back here just to make this angle work. I'm not seeing as much as I would like. <laughs> How is everybody today? We having a good Friday so far? Okay. That is our first flat laid layer of Pinup Diva. Okay. I'll zoom out again a little bit. Maybe as zoomed out as I can get on YouTube, so hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we are a-okay. So I've got my little cleanup toothpick. You know, it 
always happens. If I can't quite see the side of my nail, I missed that spot. It's actually your Friday, Michelle. Congratulations. Ecstatic for you. We are supposed to have nice weather this weekend. So hopefully Kieran doesn't get any more congested than he is. And we're going to go to the Sky Goat Farm. Super fun. He loves the goats, so that'll make him very happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do another do the thumb with pin up diva as well. I'm doing my first layer of base for my glitter. That is my hope, especially with the weather being nice. Yep. <laughs> I got a lot of pieces to pour for Ms. Michelle. So, I pulled out my charcoal and my black resin tints last night, in fact. I need to go back over your colors for the different pieces, Michelle, just to make sure that I understand correctly. <laughs> I'm lucky I won't have any migraines because that's also been interfering with getting resin poured. And nails. <laughs> I'm behind on nails, but that's okay. All good. We will figure it out. <laughs> Spring break, man. It's never a break for the parents. Only for the kids. <laughs> right? We were talking about doing like sparkly, swirly black predominantly. So we just need to go back and reconfirm that. And I think we were gonna do different colors for the mushroom container, the lid. But yeah, we will go back and look at that. But I know you wanted the one of the organizers for sure to be like all black mica. A little sparkly, but nothing crazy. <laughs> that would be the other thing I do on the side is I am a resin pour artist slash. I have many, many molds for jewelry, but I do them on a commission like piece basis. Yeah, I have a cute little um, container. It's got a mushroom lid and a little mushroom body and it opens up and you can store stuff inside. It's quite cute. I have not made one yet. So Michelle's will be the first. It's nice because since it's a container, it's in two parts. I can do the lid different than the body. Okay, that's what it was, perfect. And I still have all the glitters and the decor pieces pulled for the white moon dishes. So those are still sitting out, perfect. Yeah, my store is Bedazzled Life on Etsy. It's linked in my um, link tree. So if you ever wanna go look and just see some of the pieces I've made already, I do my best to just do them commission-based because I wanna make sure that I'm making truly custom pieces for the people who want to order from me. Initially, I started out with it as being like the idea that I would just do jewelry and I would make basically, if you had like a favorite dip or something, you would send me some of the dip or I would buy some and I would pull the glitters from it and then pour a custom resin piece from that for you. Um, but you know, surprise, surprise, all my nail friends want nail things, <laughs> like truly things to use for their nails. So I've got like decal dishes and stuff. I've got, um, 
roses and, and pal rose palettes and geode palettes and stuff. So if you do gel, like I know you do, Aaliyah, I can make you a palette, custom palette for gel, paint mixing, etc. Okay, so we are moving Pinup Diva to the side. We are moving over to Tommy. I am just brushing off any excess glitters, so hopefully I can keep them out of my solid color. And I'm going to try to sit up a little taller. <laughs> right, Britt? <laughs> I should have assumed. I just didn't want to step on any of my friends' toes because I'm friends with a lot of people who make resin. And I was like, well, I'll just do my unique thing and then I won't step on anybody's toes. But uh, there's plenty of room for us. We all have our different specialties. You need a mushroom dappin' dish. You want to do it with acrylic. So I don't know how resin does with monomer. That would be a something I would have to test. Because I've got this dish for monomer and any chemicals because monomer <laughs> might eat up resin. So I I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to check that out. All right. Now we're going in with Tommy. I don't know what the stop stop is for, Britt. What did I miss? Is it because I had to readjust? Did I shake the table? And then for flat lay, I just, I'm just gonna go in and flat lay my color. Sometimes I do pour over, sometimes I do flat lay. Just depends on my mood or getting my finger in there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you can try on the underside of one of the resin pieces I've already sent you. You could just take like a little cotton swab and rub it on the bottom. And then you could see if it would affect it. You'd see it like turn cloudy or make a, a change in the resin. And then I can tr try to do maybe an overnight test, I don't know. My husband hates the way monomer smells. It's one of the big reasons I didn't get into doing acrylic. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm just, it's Friday. It's the end of the week. It, that was quite silly and quite cute, Britt. Thank you. My brain just didn't get it, which is all, which is all me. That's not you. That's a me. I'm a little obtuse sometimes. Okay, so we're going in. So generally I will do three layers of Cassandra's solids. They're a little bit thinner. You can see the gold in the mica. Um, they're a little bit thinner. So then I do three layers to build up coverage. Oh yeah, I'm excited to have one after this. I've got like a little, I bought like canned Jameson and ginger ale. So like a, an Irish mule. I'm excited for it. I'm quite, quite, quite excited for it. For now, I'm drinking an energy drink so I can be here, have energy, be interesting. <laughs> 88 here today. Oof. Hi, Brooklyn Barbie. How are you? We are live here and on YouTube. So if YouTube works better for you, the link is in my stories on Instagram. But generally this is where I see you. Hey Heather, that's okay. We're working with Tommy and Pinup Diva. Pinup Diva is the glitter, Tommy is the solid. And we are going to chrome Tommy on my pinky for sure. <laughs> for sure, well, maybe my index. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might like it better on my index. We'll see. I gotta get a full cover first. And it's supposed to be 75 this weekend. It was 75 today. It was 85 yesterday. Ugh, the worst. LA weatherman. Like, we don't get a lot of spring. We get winter or summer. <laughs> okay. Ah, see? 
it's always the sides. Curved nail beds. Always miss the sides. So I gotta remember to keep double checking, make sure we got appropriate coverage on those nail beds. All right, so I did one center layer. Now I'm doing an all over nail layer to build up the opacity. As I was saying, I tend to do three layers of Cassandra's solids because she keeps them nice, thin, and buildable. And so you can control how much coverage you get. It's great, especially if you have shorter nails. Keeps them from being too much, getting too thick, too fast. Which is great for natural nail ladies. Or men, just natural nail wearers, my bad. That was presumptuous. Anybody who has natural nails versus tips. <laughs> Once you build the shape without having nails that are too thick. But yes, going to the Sky Goat Farm should be fun. And if for some reason we don't feel up to doing that, we might take him to the zoo. Hopefully he's feeling better though. There was a miscommunication between the school nurse and the teacher yesterday. So apparently Kieran had 101 fever at some point yesterday and I did not know it. Normally I would come and get him and we'd have taken him to his pediatrician. But then he didn't have one this morning. So I guess we'll see. We will just keep an eye on it. Hoping it's just allergies and he gets a little overheated sometimes. So if he was coughing or excited, his body temperature tends to rise a bit. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Hey, Daniil, long time no see. You're already in the 90s, Heather. I'm sorry. Blah. <laughs> Me? Or Brooklyn, or Brooklyn Barbie? <laughs> be interesting with a little a little bev bev me yes 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 I'm a fun friend I'm a fun friend and I certainly get a more adventurous if I've had if I've had a little bev bev get me a bevy have me with my with my my friends Good times are ahead. I didn't do like a big bachelorette part thing for my birth, my wedding. So I've never really had like your typical girls weekend craziness. Am I too old for that now? <laughs> if I could convince friends to say go to Vegas with me or something. Am I too old for that now? Probably look a lot different. I'm not sure I would want even want to go to a club. I would just be like, let's just dance in our rooms. <laughs> Hi, Eco. I hear you, my love. It's okay. I think dad is feeding everybody, but if you don't want to miss out on dinner, you better go see dad. That is my perpetual baby, Eco. He is my black and white tuxedo, who is 22 pounds, and when he stands is the size of a kindergartner. doesn't like it when I'm back here. He's been coming back here and meowing at me more often. And it's like, mom, I can't sit in your lap. Unacceptable. Today when I was sitting back here trying to go through and figure out setting up my iPad, he was in my lap. <laughs> he squeezed himself onto my lap under my desk. He's probably hoping he can do that now, but since I have to lean forward, not gonna happen. 
There is no room at the end. All right. Our, doing our third layer on the pinky. That should be good. Be cuticle. Okay, so I'm just coming in here, cleaning up the little sidewalls. More cleanup you can do before activating, the better. The acrylic is still soft. <laughs> no clubs, just drinks. And music, though. See, the only reason I want to go to a club is for the music. I love to dance and I love to listen to music. Aw, one was under 21 and one didn't even show up. Aw, man. <laughs> You're going to Vegas in September, Laura. I'm jealous. Yes, we do. Okay. I'm catching up on YouTube. <laughs> yes. I would be down. My husband already said he would cover me for a weekend. So if I wanted a girl's trip with people... He would let me out. <laughs> All right, so we have our two layers of pinup girl, or pinup diva, three layers of Tommy on each of the solids. I was gonna do an ombre at the cuticle. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happened to me, Britt. That happened to me with one of my bridesmaids as well. She was my maid of honor. <laughs> that was a bummer. All right. Thinking, I'm thinking. I really like the blue. Should I chrome all three instead of doing a glitter ombre? Should I do a glitter ombre on these two and chrome the pinky? Or should I do a glitter ombre on these two and chrome the index? Those are the, those are the choices. Haka sound cool, Michelle. Yeah, it has been. Oh man, I've been married 14 years this year. So it has been 15, 16 since I've been to Vegas. That's hard, Britt. She probably just didn't want to be around your happiness at the time. And then maybe didn't understand on how to come back. Okay. Now, now, now I'm going to do clear with these. We'll go ahead and move on to that. I'm going to put the glitter. Well, I can, I can tap. I can tap from the container. Because right now, well, okay. I do have, this is a old, um, non-produced, non-released version of the Flexi Dip when she was testing them out. So ignore this one. It is not available. I'm just going to use it for my clear since I do have <laughs> multiple colors going on here. So. Oh, I just hate the sound of clear in the threads of the container. It kills me. Okay. So I just poured a little bit of clear into the Flexi Dip boat. Closing that back up. Any votes for how we should do the Manny, guys? Does anybody feel in a particular strong way in any direction? Let me know. I'm 
flipping the YouTube. Let's see if I can <laughs> make this somehow work for me. All right. Because it keeps pausing, so I'm having difficulty sort of seeing where I'm at in the live. Chrome. Okay, I have a vote for Chrome. Chrome on all the nails, Aaliyah? Or Chrome on one nail? Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can vibe with that too. I can vibe with that too, Cass. Number three. Okay, so option three was the chroming my index, ombre. Pinky in middle. We're ombreing these two and chrome all ombre. <laughs> you you are getting crazy over here. You want me to chrome them all and then do a glitter ombre on the index. Doable. Not, not doable. As I'm thinking, so when I'm saying ombre, I'm thinking a tap ombre with my with this glitter. So if we just want to chrome them all, and then ombre this one, I can do that. Maybe would just mean I I put clear over all of them, get them activated, filed, and buffed up. Okay, we can do that. Does that sound like a plan, my friends? Uh, Brit. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Okay. Chrome all, chrome, chrome. It's true, Michelle, hanging out with us is more fun. I mean, if you have to, I don't know, grab a dumbbell and do some curls. <laughs> All right, going to get up in here. We're going to clear cap everything. So the point of doing clear, even on the solid, is to a give just a little bit of that strength our strength is in our clear because it does not have pigment and to make sure if you are working with a highly pigmented dip you are likely to have it turn white if you file through your clear or if you file directly on the color so that's the point is that you don't want that to happen so that's what we are trying to avoid by doing clear. And because I have a glitter, I'm trying not to contaminate my main clear. So I dispensed into the flexi dip boat so I can just get them all done. Congratulations, Brett. Yay. Yay for getting thyroid under control. I know that can be hard. We have to take Kieran in next week to do his labs. He's been on Synthroid since he was like six months old for his thyroid. They think his thyroid may have matured and may have taken over and started doing its job. So we will be testing that. And then if it has, we'll test again in a year and he gets to stay off Synthroid. If it hasn't, we go back on Synthroid and we check again in a couple years. So, you know the struggle. It's, I mean, he hasn't dramatically gained weight. He hasn't dramatically lost weight. He does seem a little more tired, which is one of my main concerns about the, the thyroid. Um, so that's what 
that's what we'll be keeping our eye on for Kieran. They thought he had Hashimoto's and an underactive thyroid. So. His body temperature would be really low as a baby. And that's what had me first sort of looking into it. And I knew that some of the Emmanuel syndrome kiddos had it. So. Had me watching, keeping a, a sharp mama eye on everything. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm just maximizing the use of my clear. Doing some pour over to make sure I get those round side walls. You can see, missed it just a little bit. We went out last night after open house at Kieran's school, and I had a California cream in, which is a nitro uh, vanilla cream um, beer. I don't know if it's an ale or, or what, but it's a blonde. It's a blonde beer, not dark, but it is velvety like a dark stout might be when it's done with the nitro, nitro foam on top. And it smells like vanilla. It's smooth, tastes like heaven. <laughs> My husband who doesn't drink beer was like, okay, this is an inoffensive beer. If I were to be out with friends where I needed to, wanted to have a drink and I could only have beer, it's like, I would drink this. <laughs> I'm like, yay, we found one. But I know I've had him try just like the home canned version, which is definitely not as smooth. And you don't get that delicious foam on top. At least not to the extent of out of a tap. Oh, that was so good. Pizza was terrible, though. So I'm never eating pizza at that place again. Beer on fire. Uh, <laughs> pizza, not so good. But I'm a big deal, dill freak. And they have a dip called the Freaky Deaky Dill Dip. And they serve it with um, home kettle potato chips. So we had that. That was tasty. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that, even if I didn't enjoy the pizza. Oh, you've never been, Aaliyah. Sorry, I'm just catching up. Okay. <laughs> you guys got way ahead of me. Uh, Michelle. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that means you're fit and healthy. That you haven't needed to go to a doctor. Mildly concerned me that you haven't. <laughs> you haven't been. But maybe you just don't need it. See, dill is delicious. Okay. Okay. So, Trader Joe's. Do you guys have them in your states? California has Trader Joe's, and they have this spring salad mix that I love. But I love it because it has fresh sprigs of dill in, in it when it's in season. But they don't change the ingredients listed on the packaging when dill is out of season. So sometimes you get dill in your salad and sometimes you don't, <laughs> which is very disappointing for somebody who loves dill. All right, so we are cleared up on all of our nails. I'm feeling, thanks Denise. Hi, welcome, sorry if I missed you coming in. So I am going off to the side. I have a little section on my desk of a paper towel and I'm going off to the side mostly and like swiping um but i'm a little lazy i've been dipping for four years four plus years i started before the panini oh no on basil alana oh Ooh, denise deviled eggs and dill yes 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 a dill pickle soup i need a recipe i need a recipe for that denise 
we just discovered at Target this Pico de Gallo. It's called Pickle de Gallo, and it's dill pickles chopped up in a Pico de Gallo style salsa. Is Pico a salsa-esque? Salsa adjacent? Oh, Polish. Polish in the house. That's a me too. That's me too. My grandmother, Nardowitz, is from Poland. So yes, delish. Ah, oh, now you're making me crave pierogies. <laughs> um, to keep them, so I do a lot of manicures. So the reason you wanna wipe your brush off is because it will thicken your base. So I will go through this before it has a chance to have that happen. But if you don't do manicures that often and you don't wipe off your brush, I will show you what will happen. Because I was going through some of my old liquids and I had one that I had just kind of let sit on my desk and it did this lovely thing. So this is what happens when you don't wipe off your brush. You get goop. Good. That unwiped off acrylic is going to go into your base and it's going to build up and it's going to try to polymerize just like it does on our nails. And that's what you're going to get. And that's not usable. So <laughs> do what I say, not necessarily what I do. I will try to watch myself and not to be so lazy, but that's what happens. <laughs> Oh, yes, dill. So good. I need to plant some dill. That's the one thing I don't have is I don't have like a garden, like a dill garden. And I think I need that. Basil and dill. That's all I want to grow. <laughs> Maybe mint. Maybe mint for the occasional muddled cocktail. But otherwise, I just don't, I don't have a green thumb. I can't even manage to keep my bouquets of flowers alive. So. Yes, I think my husband is cooking tonight. I think we're having sloppy joes, which I will probably put the pickle de gallo on because delish. It also goes with uh, Korean tacos. I had some galbi galbi beef korean taco and it was amazing and i put some of that pickle de gallo on it so that's one of the things i live in california um i've worked mostly for um asian companies and so my food preferences tend to lean that direction japanese korean filipino I like some good old Midwestern food as well, but I get really tired of burgers and pizza and that's really what we have out here aside from Asian. <laughs> See, I didn't even know that, Alana. I, would, I wouldn't know when to plant dill. <laughs> I just know it started showing up in my food again, so I was a happy camper. So we are clear layered, we are clear capped. I did, ended up doing two layers of clear on my glitters just to make sure. So we're gonna do my handy dandy fancy trick from my YouTube video where we are going to saran wrap the nail. That is how I flatten my glitters and keep them happy. I'm going to move my clear off to the side. Here, I've got my saran wrap here on the side. Derby Day. I've heard reference of Derby Day. My in-laws transplanted to Indiana. I've heard of Derby Day. <laughs> I've never been to a Derby Day, but I've heard of Derby Day. Okay, so then I'm just going to... I'm going to activate all of my solids and then I'm going to activate my glitter nails one at a time. 
because we're going to wrap wrap that nail which will let us press that clear down press those glitters down and get them nice and saturated and then I will wrap it in the saran wrap you want to try to make sure that it's nice and smooth and that the wrinkles aren't on the side that's up against your nail and then I just press it down and I give it a little push which helps squeeze the clear down between the glitters. And because I'm wearing a stiletto, I will pinch the end of the nail again. Okay, and then I will peel it off. Depending on the humidity sometimes. Sometimes it pulls up, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on your clear you're using too. But it's just easy, you go back in and you press it down again and you get smoothed out if that does happen. Super easy to fix. I'm also using a clear that is known for being extra sticky. So, depending on your clear, mileage may vary and you'll just have to work around with it, play around with it until you figure out what works for the liquids you use. But I swear, ever since figuring out this little hack, I can make any glitter smooth. Shards, doesn't matter. Flakes, shards, foils, glitters, everything is gravy. Beets, cabbage, and lettuce is this month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see it really gets those glitters to like go, or well not the glitter, it gets the clear to go like in between each of those glitters. And then you just have to buff it. Um, very little filing. Yes. I started that hack, Heather. I had an old video and I used to do lives on the double dip group, which is where I taught the hack. But I had not refilmed the video in a million years. You just moved your crops to the greenhouse. Memorial Day cannot come soon enough. Y'all got green thumbs. I'm over here like, my birthday bouquet died. I'm sad. My husband was able to save it, but, <laughs> but I killed it. Not my fault. Alright. Going back to YouTube. I'll be back. <laughs> Alright. We are letting our activator settle in. Oh, you don't have any tie places? I'm catching up. Yes, Trader Joe's. Yes, delicious. Pickle de Gallo. It's so good you've had it, Britt. Yay! basil, mint, and dill in the summer. Dill is easy to grow. Good. Good. <laughs> I can grow some. Yeah. Mmm, Thai. I'm sad you don't have any Thai food, Britt. Thai is delicious. Mm. I like the, there's a Penang curry that I love that's Thai. It's peanut based. If you can have peanuts, it's amazing. I love grill so like we'll do like cashew cashew nut beef which is delicious i tend and sometimes i do the like the pad pad kimau or pad siu um noodles but we tend to not do noodles too too often um i love i love a spicy thai salad <laughs> i don't cook thai but i buy thai <laughs> We have a fabulous Thai restaurant out here that I go to. So Facebook, if you're confused about why I'm talking about Thai food, I came back to YouTube and YouTube had the, the, the folks over there had a little conversation going about Thai food. Apparently Michelle Lotus from Lotus Dips makes Thai at home. We are all very jealous of her skills. 
and Britt has never had anything Thai. So we need to take her to Vegas and take her out for Thai food. I also want to go to Nobu out in Vegas because it's a little hard to get to the one here. It's in Hollywood and I don't really need to be around. I don't want to go. Yeah. I'm not starstruck. I don't like going into Hollywood really. It's kind of annoying to have to get around everybody. Uh, but I would go to, I would go to Vegas as Nobu because that would be tasty. See, and we're in a burger and pizza place, Britt. And then hit and miss for Asian. But yeah. Same. So I am filing at my cuticle line to get that nice and thinned out and reshaped because I am wearing these tips in the press on style. And so you want to make sure our cuticle lines are looking, are looking slim. Doing our sidewalls. We shouldn't have to file too much. You should get to go to some kind of banking convention, Britt. <laughs> I don't know why, but you should. Then you can come out to LA. A lot of conventions are out in LA. My luck, you'd be sent to somewhere like Chicago. <laughs> I'm like, no, come back. I was trying to get you to LA or Vegas. I would accept Vegas. Trying to stay up in the camera, so I'm gonna look at my lipids, my dips, so I don't get filing residue into them. Which is also the nice thing about these is you can stack them. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to rest my hand on here. And I'm going to work on my edges. I'm gonna try my best not to shake the camera around too much. It's one of the downsides of having filming equipment on your table is because when you're filing, it tends to shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> Especially because I have to lean forward more. So it ends up with me supporting myself on my elbows more. Downside. See the camera shaking? That's why. <laughs> We are just filing. I'm just filing my edges to bring back that sharper stiletto shape. Sometimes that can become diluted when you dip. And then I am filing just until I see evenness. So you see cloudy, you see shiny. I want them to all be cloudy because I'm filing. And then that's when I'll know that I am approaching an even top layer. So we need to convince Cass to drop the April dip in a dollop tomorrow. <laughs> I need it. I need it before April is gone, <laughs> but I'm doubting that'll happen, which is okay. It just means Cass is keeping busy and she has happy customers. <laughs> Cass is the owner of Lift Your Spirit Dips, if you are just coming in. <laughs> and she is over on... Facebook, that's where she's keeping us company. <laughs> Everybody's ready to sleep. Yeah, I am a West Coast girly, so we are all just thinking about dinner. 
Oh no! Oh no! Time to find a new supplier. <laughs> She's fired. Filing the outer third of the nail. This is how to maintain the apex and tighten up the shape on the stencil. Then, so I generally will do cuticle quadrants. I will then do the left third and the right third with my file angled and then I come and I will arch over the center of the nail to even out that apex and I just do a combination of all of that for my filing. I am hella picky about my shape, so I do file longer than some people. And I often will go back and refile if I find it off at all. <laughs> and I have to retop too. It's fun. It's fun being my brain. We are almost done here. And then we can look at ombre and chroming things. Anybody else have plans for this weekend? That's funny, Hunter. I feel ya. I feel ya. I do a much better job for my son than I do for myself. <laughs> I have I would have fired myself a dozen times over, but not my son. Not for, I, I do a lot of good work for my son. <laughs> I was on the phone today with multiple companies trying to get his audiology appointment scheduled. And she can't see us until June. <sighs> so, annoyed, but that's okay. I better it's towards the end of June, so Kieran won't have to miss school to go get his cochlear reprogrammed and we're due for his upgrade so we gotta time that all out have hopefully have the upgrade with us when we go to UCLA so they can program it at the same time when you have backup equipment and stuff you always want to take all the pieces and parts and get them programmed at the same time should anything break you've got backups knocked over a container of gel polish. No, oh, it's fun. Have it under my desk. Somehow I bumped into it. All right. Then I'm going to scrubby dub dub the dust off my nails and I'm going to go in with my buffer because chroming shows all of your sins. You don't want to have a unbuffed unrefined surface when you are what's thunder is thunder an event of some sort cutting down my buffers 
going to use my 100 180 buffer I'm trying to use my liquid layers hand rest to keep me totally from being completely on the table it's kind of working I think finger rest over here I can try if I need to but I think this is working it's gotta watch my elbows I'm over here throwing elbows <laughs> oh it's an air show with fireworks very cool very cool and some sewing that's fun I have resin and nails and then hopefully taking K-Man to the farm Oh, hi, Eco. He's back again. Poor baby. He feels abandoned. He can't climb in Mama's lap. fuzz in any of my manicure picks or on my sleeves it's because of these guys I love my furry babies we have, they're all seniors we have two senior cats two senior dogs sixteen fourteen fifteen They are all up there. It makes me sad. Hi, Eco. Don't scratch my pants. I don't want claw holes in my pants. I'm wearing my Halara plaid stretchy pants. <laughs> this hand rest is pearl. The color is pearl. And it is by Liquid Layers. Bedazzle 15. I also have liquid holders in matching colors. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Just, just a little bit of that, like not ear. It's not iridescent. It's that pearl. It's great. I love it. And then here's my little finger wrist. <laughs> so we'll probably use that when I'm trying to chrome, so I can keep some control. But we're going to dust off again. <laughs> I gotta get these old lady eyes and look up really close. So. Pardon me while I go off camera to double check what it's looking like. Oh, Eco left. <laughs> Such a sweet little baby. Okay, I've got a little bit of a wrinkle on my middle finger, so I'm just going to buff that off camera real quick because I need to be able to see it. <laughs> and I'm old. Here we go. So. I like to finish my nails with a very, very fine grade buff when I'm going to chrome. So I'm using the 180. If I had an even finer one, I would use that. And then I go in for a final activate to further smooth that acrylic. Okay. Dust it off so that we're not activating dust. And then I go in and let's see, I thought I saw, yeah, there we go. Get that 
angle. And I will activate one more time. That will completely smooth out the acrylic. <gasps> Chickies and duckies, yay! Wish I could come visit your farm, Alana. <laughs> I was supposed to go see Kieran's cousin's farm, pseudo farm, but um, it was raining that weekend, so we ended up going to Santa Barbara instead. And we had fun. Easter was great. <laughs> but I did miss out on seeing the chickens and the rabbits. Okay, so we are activated. Going to let that dry and dissipate a little bit. Popping over to YouTube to check on everybody. Make sure I didn't lose anyone. Yeah, it's not wanting to play like it should be. Someone just put a key in your front door. Aaliyah, are you okay? That's scary. That's scary. I'm just glad that we don't live anywhere crazy. <laughs> I'm superwoman. What am I superwoman about? What did I miss? What did I do? Dust, 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 dust. Dust myself. <laughs> All right. Yikes. Weird. Wonder if they were gonna like pretend to try to get into your home and then like break in. Be like, oh, my key. I live here. Well, I'm suspicious of everybody and everything. <laughs> I just am. Next, we're going to do our chrome. I'm going to spritz with alcohol just to get rid of any last vestiges. And then we're going to wipe off that extra activator because sometimes it can interfere with my top coats. Not always, but sometimes. I've seen it do some fishy things. So. Okay. I don't know where my free wipes are. I've got an order for more I'm waiting for them to come. So I'm just using paper towel to wipe off the excess. Okay. Then we'll go in with our gel top coat and I've got my lamp ready. Set it to 30 seconds, which everybody seems to swear is the way to do it. <laughs> I like to do a full gear, and then if the if the chrome's giving me any issues, I will wipe off with alcohol and try again. But you know, let's see. I am using a dip to chrome, so sometimes that can be a little more finicky. So we will just go with what I know. 100% works for everybody. So I've got my gel top coat. I'm going to do a thin, smooth layer. Then we are going to cure for 30 seconds. Tommy is so pretty. I just love Tommy even unchromed because of the slight shimmer that Tommy has. It's so pretty. Peaky Blinders, yes. See, I always forget the name of the show. So this blue is based off of Tommy from Peaky Blinders. Such a handsome Irish fellow. Just 
getting all of the edges, making sure I don't miss anything since we're doing chrome. I don't want to have any spots that I don't get chromed because it looks weird. And since you have to do a top coat on top of the crone, do your best to keep it as thin as you can because you're going to be doing another layer on top and you don't want your nails to be too thick after we went through all that effort of filing them down. Okay. Making sure I don't have any on my skin. It's a little uneven. I just saw some, like some leftover dust or something was on my middle finger, so I gotta fix that. I'm not flicking you off. I'm just fixing, fixing what I had to wipe off and checking the smoothness of the top coat. I picked up some dust somewhere. It's trying to stay. It's very annoying. This. that will show so badly I'm just gonna wipe that whole nail off start again I'm just doing a dry wipe because I don't want to spray it with alcohol and have the gel go into my side walls uncured gel on skin is bad leads to contact dermatitis and allergies. Okay. Better. I may need to swap my top coat. That might be, might be dust or something on my top coat. That would stink. I try to be very careful about my gel top coats keeping them from being contaminated. Now we're going into the lamp for 30 seconds. Thanks. Why hasn't Aaliyah posted anything? Is she okay, guys? So Aaliyah is over on our YouTube and somebody tried to come into her apartment with a key. Hope everything's okay. Thanks. Worry about my internet friends. All right, so we are 30 seconds cured, which should leave us warm and a little tacky to be able to pick up the mica shimmer in our dip. While not actually picking up the dip, we just want that gold shimmer so we can do our from a fact. It's easiest to do when the nail is still warm. But if it really doesn't work, usually you can clean off with rubbing alcohol and then go back in and it should still adhere to the nail. And then you want to take either your finger, a silicone tool, an eyeshadow brush, one of the above to rub in the chrome. So I will be using my silicone tool. So I'm wiping off what's on there currently with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then I'm taking and rubbing it off on my paper towel. Okay, getting that purple pigment off. And then I like to go ahead and give it another little dip dip because I want to make sure I've got enough pigment that I'm working with. You can kind of see the reflect that we've picked it up there. And then we want to do our best to scrub it in to that top coat. 
and we just keep rubbing and depending on the mica or the pigment you will find sometimes your finger works best sometimes your silicone tool works best you just adjust as you go and you want to very lightly dust off and then you can come back in you just don't want to be removing pigment as you burnish it in which kind of looks like i started the day i'm very picky about my chrome so we're going to spray Clean it off, and go back in. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my finger off too, just in case. I don't need to cause any problem, for sure. Okay. So I just go back in, pick up that pigment. definitely a very shimmery like gold fleck like reflect almost on that you guys see that okay okay and we're just gonna go back and do it again the other fingers okay yeah I can see the little dust particles that got on my top coat somehow let me swap out the top coat. That's one reason you want to make sure that you clean your nails with alcohol before using your gel top coat. Because your gel top coat likes to pick up stuff. <laughs> and it's generally a good idea to keep a chrome gel top coat for after the fact and then a regular gel top coat for other colors because chrome is pigment and it will pick up on the brush and be deposited into your top coat and this will actually cause your top coats to become progressively sparkly <laughs> okay so i'm going to go and cure that nail real quick so that it doesn't have the chance to have the top coat slide down my finger. So I do a 10 second cure to keep it still. Because I have very, very, very curved nail beds. So top coat likes to flood my side walls. Because of my allergies, I'm working extra super duper hard to keep that from happening. <laughs> okay. Less exposure, the less problems I'll have. And so I'm also just trying to delicately float the top coat over the nail to not disturb that pigment. I just want to barely make contact with the nail so it doesn't move around. sides. You also want to make sure that you cap the nail. So that's by taking and running your top coat along the outer edge of the nail. That's how we do that. Because chrome tends to peel if you don't. So it's a quick little tip trick. insurance method <laughs> yeah i bumped it while it was wet i'm having issues with that i keep bumping my nails all right so now we are going into the lamp for a full 60 second cure okay good Aaliyah. <laughs> i'm glad to see you're okay we was worried
try to go back to Facebook while I'm curing. Don't forget to hit like on the on the live so it will share with people. Somebody's trying to sell bunnies. Thanks, Cass. Appreciate that. Curing for another 30 seconds. Just a triple double. Make sure. No allergies. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to look at the um, gems. I'm not sure if I'll do gems. I might do gems, but we're going to look at the gems in case I decide to do the gems. For now, I'm going to show you guys how easy I can put away my dip one handed. And then pour that right back in the container. Like, look how little we use, too. Love it. No spillover, no loss. Close that up. So that's Tommy from Peaky Blinders. Casted a whole collection. I have to check and see which ones I didn't get from it. Pick them up. Okay. So I was just taking my file and making sure the sides were not connected. Luckily, I did not seem to get any gel on my fingers. Thank goodness. Never know. All right. So, got a little bit of that gold shimmer. It's not as smooth on my middle finger. That's the one that was giving me all that trouble. So I might buff it. And do another top coat later. We'll see. See how much it bothers me. <laughs> Maybe that's the nail that we put some, we put an ombre on. Could be. All right, so we are looking at the gems. Let's see if there's one that might work. Got, they all kind of have a blue or purple um, under color. Oh yeah, May 3rd, Alana. May 3rd. All right, so we've got like a green, a sky blue, a very light blue, a, like a darker navy almost, and then we have purple. I kind of wanted to see maybe what the what the limit look like. Ooh, that is really pretty with Tommy, but that's not the nail I was thinking about doing. I mean, I might, but I was talking about doing the glitters. Man, that is really pretty together. <laughs> it is so pretty, my goodness. All right. Ah, come back. See, curved nail beds. Almost impossible for me to get gems to like sit unless I'm using um, gel to hold them while I look. All right, but then you get dirty gems and I don't want that. So on the glitter, it does pull out a little bit more of the green, which is kind of interesting. Oh no, it shot across the table. Great. <laughs> Squeeze less tight. Hi, Eco, I hear you, sweetie. Mama's doing something. I'm trying to check out and see which of the gems I like best with the glitter. That one kind of disappears, but then you get like that little reflect when you shimmy it about. That's not bad. I like it. She's cute. Okay, and that's sort of comparing to the darker blue. It's not a huge difference. It's a little bit of a difference. We put them next to each other on the lid here so you guys can see them. Okay, that is the light blue. Here is the dark blue. 
not a big difference, but it does kind of change how the light refracts. Um, we do have the purple. Let's see if that does anything cool over the blue. Ooh, that definitely makes it a darker, richer color. I just dove in there. There it is. <laughs> and then it's a little more obvious that it's purple on the glitters, which is interesting. You can kind of see that. You see more of that blue, which is interesting. I kind of like that one. I kind of like how the purple looks on the glitter more. Like I like how the navy-ish blue looks on Tommy. But I think I like how the purple looks on the glitter. What do you guys think? That's the purple. Am I just imagining the differences? <laughs> Could be. What do you guys think? It jumped. It jumped ship. Where did the purple go? Ran away. I need to order another set of these because they're not equal in like count of like colors. Oh yeah, because see if you combine, put these next to each other on the purple at this angle, I'm getting actually a little bit more of like a pink refract, which might be why it's showing better over that glitter. Neat. Color is crazy. I'm sure it's all explained by color theory, but you know, it's not quite my thing. I can never remember. I have to look at the wheel each time. Off, thank you. <laughs> Anybody have strong opinions any direction? SMGs, let's grab the little teal lighter blue over here. See if I can find another of the emerald shape. I like that emerald shape, it is quite pretty. I am partial to emerald shapes. Not emeralds themselves, just the shape. Don't know why. <laughs> or like the trapezoid. Trapezoid's not bad either. All right. So that basically just looks clear over the glitter blue. Everything kind of disappears and it just looks, it just looks blue. So I think I'm going to go with the purple. What do you guys think? Any votes? Do the light blue. It landed in the green box. Thank you. <laughs> landed in the green. I'm looking. Let's see, I'll pull out another of the purples. Interesting, so I got two of the emerald shapes in the purple, but I'm not seeing them in the other colors so far. I'm seeing that kind of shield shape. I'm seeing trapezoids. I'm seeing horse eye, which is like that elongated teardrop shape. Cute little bow, that was cute moons there's a moon there's the trapezoid seems to be the most consistent shape between the colors that's the green square rectangle looking shape horse eye i just because i just want to do one fun gem and i want it to be like almost invisible unless i'm like removing it so i think i'm gonna stick with the purple guys Sorry, Bernie. I'm vibing the purple. All right. So I'm going to clean my nails off with the alcohol again. I'm just doing that off camera. I'm looking 
closely at my cuticles and making sure I am picking up all the extra dust. Oh, there's a little fuzz that was stuck in my middle finger. That looks like a lot. Cat, I blame you. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. So I don't know how I got this cut, but I got a cut in the webbing of my thumb and my first finger. And I keep getting alcohol in it right there. It hurts so bad. Every time I bend my finger, it hurts. <laughs> There's like nothing I can do. Uh, still, I don't know how it happened. It's very annoying. Okay. So I'm just wiping that pigment off my silicone tool because I'm going to use a little tiny bit of gel to pick up my gems. That's how I avoid dropping them. <laughs> so here's one of my little personal palettes that I made with some leftover resin from somebody's order. So I tend to just put a little bit of gel. And I use that to pick up my gems. If you guys have things you want to see, let me know. I do have a world of stickers and vinyls and stuff we can play with too. Usually I'm just over here thinking with my brain like, hmm, what do I want to see? Okay. Actually, I'm not going to pick it up because there's no safe side to pick it up. I didn't even think about that. Because these are clear on either side. There's not really a safe way to pick it up that won't like get color, like a little bit of the gel on a visible side. So I'm going to just try to very carefully pick it up with my tweezers and apply it that way. There we go. Okay. So I like it. I wanted it kind of at that weird little tipped angle. I wanted it to be a little different, not just in the center. I like that angle. And then I have a lamp off to the side of my desk that is a mini LED lamp that's on an arm. So I can actually cure with that as a here, stay still. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then I just turn it off. And it can be a regular lamp. It can be the LED, whatever I need it to be. Okay. And then we're going to come and we're going to put that other stone here on my thumb. Okay. And there's my top coat. And then I'm going to pick up the gem. And then if I want it to be extra secure, I will go in with a second layer of top coat or I will take my detail brush and I will paint around the gem with top coat to keep it from moving around. It is such a pretty, this purple, I don't know, I just, it's so pretty. It's like an indigo purple almost which makes me want to use the moon in a purple mani coming up soon. We shall see. I'm very gently let go and then try to maneuver the gem on the nail. This is a little tipsy tip. There's more nail estate on the thumb. crazy and then add another gem not connected anyway just haphazardly because I want them there <laughs> there we go I 
I'm going to move that one a little further up. So. And then I have a teeny, this is the only one that I've seen a little circle. That's cool. There we go. That's fun. It's like a little 90s, 80s shape party. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. And we're going to turn my lamp to the LED. into the regular lamp in a second after we take my detail brush. And I'm just going to take some of the top coat and I'm going to secure in between the gems with a little bit of the top coat just to make sure it is sealed around the edges. Do this with glue. I prefer to do it with rhinestone gel or top coat. If I was going really in here and like doing a bunch of different pieces, I would probably be using a rhinestone gel, which tends to have a thicker consistency. But I'm just doing a few. And I'm not really doing anything crazy to like connect them or anything with little caviar beads. So I'm just coming in here to seal them mostly so that my hair doesn't get caught. Okay. Then we go in for the full 60 seconds and we get that secured. Oh, sorry, this took so long, guys. <laughs> I got all into it. All right. But we will be done with this as soon as we come out of the lamp. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I'm catching up on comments. <laughs> I think I may have done it when I was opening a package. I tend to get a little wild and crazy with that. Put my rhinestones back. Boop. 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 <laughs> that navy blue is really pretty too though. I like the pink, it's pretty. But it tends to look more amber depending on the color it's on. So that's kind of the thing is that you have to pay attention with these kind of stones on what the backing color is going to be. Because they can go amber or green or like weird. So that's why I like to try to test them. I'm sure if you have a solid grasp on color theory, you would know like, oh, putting this on this would change the color this way, but I don't. <laughs> so I have to test. Like you got like the red one here. So, like this one gets more of the pinky fire. I feel like this one pulls more fuchsia and purple and then the purple pulls more blue. We are done. Let's see. Doo -doo. I'll close up my jams so I don't spill them without thinking about it. Okay. All right. Here we are. I'm going to throw some cuticle oil on. I have baking season. Which one this one? It's very 
Mmm, it's very cinnamony and delicious smelling. <laughs> Cass makes these really aesthetic cuticle oils. I don't talk about them often enough, but she's got a bunch of amazing scents and she puts these adorable little florals in hers. So they're kind of like that TikTok viral kind, except, you know, not bad for you. They're she formulates her cuticle oils very carefully and they are delicious smelling and so good for your skin. The tick, tip, trick, whatever to cuticle oil is to use it all the time. Anytime your nails are going to be exposed to water, use your cuticle oil. Use it before you do dishes. Use it before you take a shower. What oil does is it closes off the bonds of the nail and it keeps water from soaking in. When water soaks into the nail, it expands the nail and that will cause your product to begin to lift. So you want to make sure you are protecting your manicure and having it last as long as possible. So we've got Tommy with that little golden reflect. We've got purple and blue gems. We have Pin Up Diva, which is this beautiful, small, glitter, iridescent. And here's our nanny. What do we think, guys? I'm not in camera. <laughs> yeah, so the cuticle oil tip. It's how your nails are going to grow. It's how you're going to get your natural nails to grow. Protect them. Treat them like the jewels they are with how much time you spend on them. <laughs> I'm glad, Michelle. Thank you. So, yeah. I had a lot of fun. I think they came out really cute. I am still a little bit annoyed at that middle nail, but that's... I saw the dust. I thought I got all of it. Otherwise, you know, Chrome will do that. Chrome will show you every little error 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 <laughs> well, that's the nature of chrome but i think this manny would have come together chromed or not i do love the little gems i think it would have been adorable with the cuticle ombre too i appreciate everybody's time and attention if no one has any questions about what we did i'm gonna go have dinner with my family <laughs> Thank you, Barbie. I appreciate it. Thanks, Alana. Um, and, you know, if you guys have any questions about the Liquid Layers products, hit me up. Um, I, if I don't have the answer, I can get it for you from Bonnie, the owner. And Cass is here, so, you know, she comes to each of our lives. She's always ready to answer questions about her releases. Um, if you love me, you will annoy her into releasing the dip in a dollop. <laughs> ah, that's, you know. <laughs> otherwise keep an eye out for the beach collection tomorrow you can use a bedazzled 10 to save on the collection check out her oh she has scrubs that are divine too and you can get any of her skincare products the cuticle oils the scrubs in the different scents you just add it in a note and let her know and she also has chapstick I get, she does it in the peppermint. I love it. It's super nourishing. I have two of them. I keep one next to the couch and I keep one in my purse. So make sure to check those out too. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Now I have like five different things to turn off when I disconnect. <laughs> all right. I love you all. Thank you so much for staying and hanging out. I had a lot of fun as always. That's why I do those. Do these lives. You guys are my socialization. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a great night. Okay. I know how to finish the Facebook. I don't quite know how to close off the YouTube, so we'll see. <laughs> you guys get me for a little bit longer while I figure this out. 
Okay. Post now. So the Facebook Live is posted. Um, trying to figure out how we end our YouTube Live. Ooh, I went low battery. Okay, good to know. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, so I'm gonna take my phone off the off the computer. <sighs> there we go. There you go, guys. I was trying to show it off. Yeah, and I think I was off camera. So there you go. Hope you like it. Um, nope. Nope, I had it on top chat, so if I missed anybody's messages, I'm so sorry. Uh, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Maybe? X? Aha! I found it! Bye, guys! <laughs>